everyone. Welcome to today's huddle. I'm your host, Jessica Wills, alongside Matt Demecki. Matt, up, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy it's Friday to you guys, Friday. too. Yes, Friday is the best day around here. Um, we're going to get right into this. The Seattle Seahawks are cleaning house, and one of the next players to leave the team is Richard Sherman. I know this is a story yeah. that we were following this week, and it's kind of just been confirmed like he is a free agent. They're letting yeah. him go. So, Matt, there's a lot of talk about so many possibilities of where he can go. I yeah. mean, we're hearing everything. There's at least seven teams. I heard the Patriots. I heard Green Bay. I heard the Rams. Um, what do you think? Where could he end up? Um, I. It, it's crazy. Richard Sherman's that type of player where he can almost go anywhere and it's a fit. You know, he's a fit with any team. But, oh my God, I hate to say this so much, but New England Patriots, like, I, I, it makes the perfect sense, like, pairing him with Stephon Gilmore over there, because obviously Malcolm Butler is going to leave, because after he got benched at the Super Bowl, I mean, it was a wrap for him, but I think that would be a perfect situation, and he's been expressing how much he wants to play for the Patriots, and Stephon Gilmore and him are really, really close, too, so that's a perfect fit. Another fit, LA Chargers, that defense is coming up, too. They got a good D-line, and you can put Sherman back there. It's just crazy. You could put him anywhere. I, I just feel like the Patriots anywhere. make it makes way too much sense. You know, and, it, and he can choose wherever he wants to go. And yeah, it just, it just makes sense. He's coming off of an injury. Of course, he had mm. surgery on his Achilles, so he's recovering from that. He's about to be 30 years old. Do you think yeah. that that's going to affect in any way this no. next contract? That no, 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 no. I, I don't think so. With or without the Achilles, I think Richard Sherman is the best corner in the league, and that's like end of the story period you know because every every statistical category for a corner he's basically number one in yeah like everything you could think of he's he's the number one corner in yeah. so he leads without this injury he leads matter. all players in interceptions in uh passes defended completion rate allowed yeah. so everything everything i mean yeah. top top across the league yeah exactly um he will he'll have his choice he'll have his his uh choice of which team he's gonna go to so you're saying patriots mm -hmm. you you're gonna have to hate on him then because you're such a patriots hater no man. i know i'm a patriots hater but I, I for this it just makes so much sense for him to go to the patriots because like i i know they were throwing the cowboys out there like why would he go to the cow like, what's intriguing about the cowboys defense well like are they gonna do anything will the patriots be able to give him the money that you think he deserves yeah, I, I, they're, they'll find a way because you know Bill Belichick, he's smart with the salary cap. I mean, they can get they can get people across the board that they can sign for cheap. And and you know he invests in his corners because Stephon Gilmore got a lot of money, but he'll make it work. And I, I think that's where he's going to end up ultimately. Yeah. So Not a bad good. position to be in for Richard Sherman. I mean, he's the mm. best player. Any team, like you said, is going to find a way. If they're yeah. going to have him, they'll find a way to clear the cap space so that they can pay him what he's yeah. deserved. Now, the question is, because it's been rumored also, mm. he could end up in, back in Seattle. Do you think that's a possibility? No, 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 no. He is not going back to Seattle the way he, they did him. Because, okay, look, let's go back in the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 49. When it was second down, they should have ran the ball to Marshawn. Ever since then, I don't think we've ever seen the same Seattle team. And I think that if True. they ran the ball and he got in the end zone, they practically won that game. Right. This was a mini dynasty we were about to see because yeah. you never see a defense like this. Like, yeah, Bobby Wagner, Earl Thomas, Cam Chancellor, Richard Sherman, a good D-line. Like, you never see that. You know what I mean? So I think when they didn't run the ball to Marshawn and they lost that game, I don't think they've ever been the same. And I don't think he's going to go back there for sure. So that so. play is still coming to haunt them years later is what you're saying. Years later. If Tom Brady would have had another Super Bowl loss. We would have questioned, is he really the go or not? That just changed everything in NFL history towards the end. Well, we'll be paying attention to see where Richard Sherman does end up. And I'm sure that we'll be letting you guys know as soon as we find out. Mm -hmm. It's Friday, so we are going to tell you our L's for the meet week. Matt, who do you got? You know what? I, I think I'm going to go with Rob Gronkowski. Uh, if you guys didn't see the story that we did, uh, Lindsey Vaughn came on a show and basically they were giving her guys like options to date. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Rob Gronkowski <laughs> came out and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not, no, not for me. So she it curved him, hard, friend zoned hard him. I, no, I, the way that she came out and him. said that, I'm like, she has some serious dirt on Damn, him. Damn, she was lit. And she was like, before they no, even like finished no. the yeah. words, it was like, no, absolutely yeah, he, not, never happening. He did something to her, but I, anyway, yeah, she, I want to know what that L. is. So, so interested to know. But yeah, I agree with you. My L for the week is I'm gonna go to Seattle. You guys are clearing house, getting rid of all your what players. Are what are you guys doing? 
you guys definitely take my L for the week. So it's to be determined on if this is all gonna actually pay out for you. But right now, it's a definite L for me. Um, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. We wanna hear from you. Happy Friday, everyone. Hopefully you enjoy your weekend. Thanks for joining us so much on this weekend's huddle and we'll see you next time. Thank you.